All right. Well, let me tell you one reason why I, I didn't take him to the doctors because he had a fever and a stomach ache. Back in 2012, with the project chatter, my asshole sister decided she was going to say that my son had a problem. He can't poop. He can't do this right. He can't do that right. So with the project chatter, I, I had came at anxieties. Thank you for calling Virtua Family Medicine for Heath. Now, I called the doctor's office this morning, and it just so happened to be on there for like ever. So I'm sitting there waiting for them to get on. Now they have a doctor's appointment at the end of this week. One on Thursday and one on Friday for their yearly checkup before school like I did every year. So meanwhile, the whole entire time I'm sitting here waiting for them to get on. They forwarded it for, I know they forwarded the call. I'm still waiting. Let's go first. Meanwhile, she told me to go to the virtual hospital or virtual urgent care. confirm your address for me now I, until I get the truth I have to do this because they're not going to say they gave me deliver they deliver uh, they come uh, she confirmed she got the paperwork she confirmed this she confirmed that can you confirm this no I mean if it's not today then tomorrow but we, I oh let me look so she can't find any doctor's appointments for me and my kid to get into today And then they'll send over the paperwork. They just told me to go to a uh, virtual, uh, the urgent care. Okay. 
my first, my first available new patient appointment is not until September. I don't have uh, anything any sooner. Oh, well, yeah. Well, he comes in on Friday, so. Right. That's what I was saying. It was probably the best. He's just in urgent care for now because of the issue that he is having. Okay. Or if he's going to go to the until Friday, then we can have to see him. I don't even know why I talked to a triage nurse. We can't see it. We would think that's the urgent care at the moment. Women need help. Virtual for women is so meanwhile, I'm going to go out there and talk to somebody, I guess, because I don't... Thank you for choosing Virtua. You reached the triage nurse line. This is Kara. How can I help you? Kara. Hi, Kara. My name is Nadine Syracuse, and my son's been sick with running fevers off and on since Wednesday. I broke the fever yesterday, but then this morning he came back down with the fever, and he's been complaining about his stomach. Okay, let me, uh, can you spell the last name for me, for him? S-I-R-A-C-U-S-A. -S -S so I talked to her and she said to, being that he had a fever, that I should take him to the hospital. And what's his first name? Brandon. He hasn't so, been there yet. He's I think it has to use to go to the bathroom. So. Oh, okay, so he's going to be a new patient with us? Yes. Okay. Alright, so he's had fevers, uh, and fevers since when? Uh, Wednesday night. That's good. Since Wednesday last week, okay. Yeah. That's good. I Hopefully I can have one honest person in there and the rest of the secretaries will not be on. And he ate and everything, but then he came down with the fever again this morning. Okay, and how can I have, like, give me a range of fevers from home? All right, so that's that. I did call them, and um, the world has to know because obviously um, people want to lie about me and what I'm doing and how I'm doing things. Well, you know what? I do things the way that I have to do things until... I can actually do things in order because I've always done things in order but because things are not in order I can't do it I'm not doing it everybody wants to mess it up and again in 2012 it was the last time I took my son to the doctors when he had a stomach problem before and it was only he only had he had to go to the bathroom they told me it was he was constipated and he needs to go to the bathroom. That was in 2012 when he had a stomach problem. That's all they told me. So they gave me this thing. They took him and they got x-rays done. Well, what happened was my asshole sister doing this Project Chatter shit in 2012, as usual. 2012 or 13, one or the other. It had to have been 2012 because I don't think he was in kindergarten yet. But they were telling me... Um, giving me anxieties. I think it might have been 2013. They were giving me anxieties about something seriously wrong, seriously wrong with my son. So obviously when I felt like something seriously was wrong with my son, I took him to the hospital. And obviously there wasn't anything serious because all they told me was he was constipated and he has to get to the bathroom. So, what other anxieties does that little fucking bitch want to give me? How many more anxieties does Lisa and his father and whoever else they want to get involved in do to give me? Anxieties. Induced anxieties. Implanted memories. Implanted visual. Implanted stuff. So we shall see. I'm going to go up there. I'm going to see if I can get him in the doctor's office because all I think he needs is whatever. Anyway, praise be to God. Hope is in front of me and my children. Peace be with us. Truth be told. And I'll talk to you all later on when I get back home. Otherwise, I will be here or we're taking care of my son because somebody wants to make him sick. Praise be to God. Thank you all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you to all my brotherhood of Christian law enforcement. Thank you to everyone who's watching my